YouTube, what's up? Um, it's a little after four in the morning. Um, I just got done eating my after work meal. And I wanted to kind of just, just talk about a couple things that are coming up, hopefully. Um, well, they should be. I, me and a couple friends or whatever entered a car show for the end of the month. It's the uh, last weekend in March. It's going to be here at the Century Center, downtown South Bend. It's the same one I entered last year, but because of the pandemic, they ended up canceling it and postponing it up until, I believe it was last September or maybe October that they had it, and then they moved it from outside, or from inside, excuse me, to the outside. So, we went ahead and uh, entered it again this year. Uh, they did say they were going to follow... Uh, current COVID restrictions and all that. I haven't received any kind of confirmation that we're in. I think they just sent the uh, applications and the pictures away this week. Um, so hopefully I'll hear something back by the end of this week or maybe early next week. I kind of want to know what the restrictions are, I guess, or what they expect from the people that are there with their vehicles, as opposed to the people that are coming through. The spectators, I guess, versus the show people, and then the vendors and whatever else they got going on. But I'm pretty excited about it. Um, everybody knows that last year was terrible for a lot of reasons, and my main reason was just the lack of shows to do. It seemed like I just kept doing the same ones over and over, which was fine. It gave me something to do, but I really would like them to happen more often this year. Obviously, I want to be able to take both cars. Um, I just, I just got all this, I got all these ideas in my head about how I want to do it and whatever, but they have to happen first. So, um, and speaking of ideas in my head, um, I'm going to go ahead and add to the display, I think, for the Century Center show. I'm looking to buy a new church truck and a, uh, drape, a church truck drape. So that'll be cool. Um, I'm going to put the, the casket on top and then... That way I have the option to display it outside the car or leave it inside the car. And uh, also what I'm doing is I put an order in um, for another one of these guys. I don't know if you can see him, Mr. Green here, Mr. Green Jeans. Um, I put another order in for another one of these guys through uh, Decompositions, Corpsed Creations. Um, I, I basically told him what I wanted and he's going to work on it. I don't expect it to be done, nor do I expect to even get it before this show, which is fine, that's cool, but I did put another order in, I want to I wanna add another one to the show, so that'll be cool, um, I think what else I got going on, I have, um, what else do I have going on, I don't even know, I do have a couple things I want to open, one of them is just a, a magical envelope, oh man, everybody, everybody knows what my address is, um, whatever, and, uh, so this one's just an envelope. I know what's in here already. Nothing here is a surprise. I'm just, I figured I'd open this stuff up on camera. I don't know why I decided to do stuff like that. But, anyway. So these are something I wanted to add to this year's showing. Or at least, I don't know if I want to add it because I've had them before. But, what I wanted to do... Well, these are actually look like they're a lot bigger. Maybe somewhat bigger, I don't know. So, I wanted to get um, new flags for the car. Um, I kind of decided to go with purple instead because, I mean, that's I did get two of them. Uh, purple is like the color for funerals or whatever, I guess. Uh, that's number one. Number two... I already have black and I already have orange. I was like, well, I'm going to do purple. I think they look pretty sweet on the on the black car. So we're going to see. Hey, what's the matter? It's okay. Hey, it's all right. He's on the couch barking again. Um, so I got these guys. Um, I ordered them from uh, eBay shop, eBay store. I've ordered, I think it's just a, I think what it is. I think, I don't know if it's Bane's ebay shop or something like that but anyway so i was like you know what i'm gonna get some new flags we got that dialed in um i did find a a website for the for the church truck um and the drape and they send me they're gonna send me like a free 
church truck case, which is cool. I mean, not just because it's me, all right, whatever, but they do that with every order. So that's cool, too. Um, what else do I got to, or want to talk about? Um, might be about it. I think I'm going to go ahead and just open this up real quick. This is a, oh, yeah, we'll do that real quick. This is a box, or a, uh, I put in an order, um, I don't know when it was, a couple weeks ago, probably, and, uh, for Toxic Tunes, so, um, I figured I might as well open that up. Oh, and then I put that order in for the Fear Boutique. That should be here relatively soon. Last I checked the tracking. I think it's in Philadelphia right now. It was in Joyzy yesterday. It's in Philadelphia today or some weird shit. I don't know. But, <laughs> if we could open this thing, we're going to see what the hell I ordered. Again, this isn't like a mystery, but... I really don't remember what the hell I ordered. I mean, I kind of do. I kind of have an idea, but... Oh! That's a big, thick envelope there. I did order... Oh, that's right, I did... I ordered these, I think, end of February. Or early March. Well, yeah, maybe it was the end of February. Um, and I think what it was, it was like a pre-order for this t-shirt design that he made. So, I had to wait for the pre-order to stop. So he was, basically he stopped taking the pre-orders. So, this is what I got. The Rotting Caskets Funeral Home. Um, what's that say on the bottom? Oh yeah, from Hide number 9. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I just thought the design was really cool. I like I was kind of got the Ouija yes and no type of thing there. I thought the design was pretty cool. So, we got that. Um where I know you guys are probably thinking, wow, that one looks awfully small. Well, you're right, it is. I got myself a bigger one. That one's for somebody else. She knows who she is. She just doesn't know she's getting one. So I got the bigger one, too. Um, this one is huge. This one must be the 5X, yep. Yeah. So, my theory, and my thought is, I like, of course I like wearing stuff like this um, to car shows when you're showing a hearse off or whatever. I think it'd be kind of cool. And, you know, I kind of want, like, I just wanted her to have one. I mean, let's, <laughs> let's be honest. Whether or not um, she appreciates it or not, I don't know. But, what else I got was a bunch of stickers. <laughs> so that's how he signs it. Stanks for your odor. He's so, uh... He gave me this cool Friday the 13th join cousin Uki for a 24-hour marathon thing <laughs> the monsters. I'll sing this up somewhere. That's pretty cool. Um, oh, see, again, again, I, this happens to me quite a bit. Not quite a bit. Whenever I... <laughs> Seems like whenever I order something from either Toxic Tunes or the Dead Sled brand or whoever, I guess. Actually, this is really on the main too. It seems like they always send me extra stuff. So, he, he sent me these two pins that I did not order. And it's cool because I love you to death. It's almost like an appreciation, I think, for the order. It's like a Valentine. I kind of really don't want to open it, but I kind of do. And it's got his business card in it, which I've got plenty of those. I like to show off to. Well, those are cool. He gave me a couple of freebies, you know. He doesn't have to do that shit, but he does it anyway. And I'm sure there's probably something else in here. Yeah, there sure is. Yeah, see? Thanks for your odor. See, this is the kind of stuff... And he signed it again. This is the kind of stuff he would send basically as a thank you. And that's really cool artwork. I like that, too. Um... I can hang that up, too, for sure. So, we're going to see exactly what I ordered. I don't remember, which is unfortunate. But, I think... Um, let me just go through these off-camera real quick, because I want to make sure. Yeah, okay, I remember that. Yep, yep, okay. I think what I was doing is I was kind of like... Um, giving myself some sticker options. 
for the car. I can't show that. Well, maybe I can show that one. That's fine. Um, so yeah, I got myself two, three, four, five, six new stickers. And for some reason, whenever I order these stickers, I always end up buying two of each one. I think it's like one for the car and one for whatever, or if something was to... Anyway. So, this is the one. I got the logo sticker for Toxic Tunes. This might be my uh, thumbnail. Here, hold on. There it is. About 1030. Cool. So anyway, that's my uh, one sticker that I got. These are a lot bigger than I thought they were. I don't know why I, I keep thinking, like, is there small? I thought this would be a cool her sticker. As they're hitchhiking. These three uh, ghouls here. So I got that one twice. I got, oh, yeah. I don't know why I decided to get this one. I just thought the art was really cool. And it's kind of a Psycho Billy, Gotha Billy type of sticker. I thought that would be really cool in the car, too. <laughs> so I got two of those. Two of those. What else did I get? Oh, I got the... This kind of reminds me of the Trick or Treat logo. A little bit. I just got Frankenstein instead. So I got two of those. I thought these were pretty cool. Um... If you guys, seriously, if you guys are looking for cool artwork and cool stuff and stickers and shirts and all kinds of stuff, DVDs, I think he sells, he sells all kinds of, all kinds of wild stuff like this. But if you're into this kind of artwork, uh, I would definitely just check out ToxicTunes.com. Link will be in the description, obviously. There's a couple. This one, I don't know if I can show it. Um, but it's, it's a witch sitting on a pumpkin. I guess I could show it. Uh, it's not that her nipples are exposed or anything like that. I don't know if I could even say that. They're just, they're jack-o'-lanterns. I don't know if I could show it. But I got two of those, too. So there's that. Um, I hope that I can say that shit. Damn. And what else did I get? I got... <laughs> um, I see. I didn't even know this was here. they just sneaking the stuff on... Ugh. Sneaking the stuff on me. It's like a little Valentine's Day. Um, picture... <sighs> oh, why has he got three legs? That's so weird. Anyway, so there's that. I think he put that in there to keep it from bending. But that's cool nonetheless. I got myself. I almost said me-self again. Oh yeah, here we go. That's all you need to know right there. Visit us if you dare. Um, I got myself the 2021 Toxic Tunes calendar. Um... I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the first three months because we're already into those. Just to uh, give you an idea. I don't know what you guys will probably be thinking. Why the hell do you have a calendar? Who the hell hangs calendars anymore? I do. First of all, it's art, okay? Second of all, I could know what the fuck day it is. Third of all, it's 12 months of different art. Bite me. Anyway, Jan, you scary. See, isn't that clever? He's so clever with this shit. But that's January. Even though we passed it already. Uh, what are you going to do, you know? I'm a little... And of course, they're kind of, you know, Valentine's Day themed for February. I love you. Isn't that cute? With all my heart. Well, see? I'm sorry, February is scary. And then we're going to see what March looks like. Or what the hell he even names March. Just March. Oh. This is very similar to the... Actually, that's the cover. I know, my lighting. I know. I know! But that's March. Pretty cool. Um, so that's where I would need to hang this up. Um, probably upstairs or something. I don't know if I should peek or not, but I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to ruin anything in case you guys order these and be like, "Oh, well, I already know what all the months look like." May all your nightmares come true. That's from May. Look that way. June gloom. July. Yeah. Oh, August. Yes. Back to school ghouls. August has the horse artwork he does. Or, I'm sorry, all guts. Get it? All guts. September. Halloween is right around the corner, yep. Yeah. Halloween is every day, man. October. Oh, his birthday's on the 12th. Nice. Nice. What else do we have here? The Happy Thanksgiving, yeah. <laughs> November. Let me guess, it's December. Yep, sure is. Do I have an extra month? Do I get an extra month, Eric? No. 
Beware of toxic waste, Uncle Pigors. Secret Society of Fiends, thanks for your support. Eddie signed this one too. And all these signatures, they are not printed. I can tell they're definitely not printed. Or maybe they are. I don't know. Artist, mortician, madman. <laughs> nice. So, this was kind of an impromptu weird video, I realize, but... I like to talk, I like to rant, you know. Uh, these stickers are amazing. I love them. I love them all. The stickers are... I'm just, I don't know why I'm, like, so into stickers. It's so weird. And like I said, these are just, these are huge. These are a lot bigger than I thought they were. I mean, that's my hand. So, definitely, definitely worth it. The guy's, the guy's amazing. And they're really good quality stickers. Just want to point that out, too. But there's my, my little Toxic Tunes unboxing and my little funeral flags. Those got to go upstairs, too. My shirts. I almost forgot about the shirts. Hang those bad boys up. Take all that stuff up with me. My knife. Kniffy. I guess that's really all I had to talk about. Or whatever. I do have a Chemical Guys box coming. Again, not a mystery. Because I know I ordered it. But no. That's not what I mean. It's not a mystery box. It's stuff I kind of need. I guess. I want to try out, yada, yada, yada. Some of it's for the actual, for the show. Um, like I said, I don't know what they're going to expect from us or whatever. I don't know if we're going to have to mask up or whatever like that, but I wanted to get some sanitizer and some other stuff just in case, you know, they require it. I don't know if they will, but I'm sure they'll provide their own. I don't really, I don't know. Anyway, I'm rambling again. Here I go. Whew. So I'm going to open up the Chemical Guys thing, I guess. I don't know. Oh, and I have the, um... Fear Boutique um, incense that I think I mentioned earlier in this long ass video. I did not mean for this video to be 17 minutes long, but here we are. I have the Fear Boutique. It's basically just incense that I bought, like a sampler pack or something. 15, 15 sticks of different scents. I'm pretty excited about it. I do love incense. I'm actually up to three incense burners now in my house. I'm probably going to have to put a fourth one somewhere. I don't know why. Garage. That makes sense. Probably not. Anyway, I'm rambling again. God damn it, Joe! Shut. Up. Um, as far as anything else going, Ghost Box session I'm sure will be coming soon. Again, um, I kind of just do those when I can anymore. I guess I should probably do a schedule, set a schedule up. I don't know. I don't know what I'm keep looking at over there. Um, but I'm definitely gonna be doing a lot of the car show filming. I'm probably gonna talk to you guys by, again. Before that, I don't know why I'm rambling about that shit. Anyway, Joe, I'm signing off. Check out ToxicTunes.com. I will put a link in the description. Um, please do that. Please help the guy out. Damn it. Help yourself out, for that matter. You know what, Eric? God love him. Whatever. He's an awesome dude. He liked my Scarecrow joke. What can I say? <laughs> Why did the Scarecrow get a promotion? He was outstanding in his field. <laughs> I'll see you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Um, peace out, I guess.